Hi everyone, this is Paris de Bono of the Fortune Teller Shop. And in this video, I'm going to talk about timing with fortune telling cards. Now, I, I asked a question on Facebook, what do people want me to make videos about? And the overwhelming response was about timing. So I suppose everyone has an issue with getting the timing of a reading right. And I'll explain some of the tips and techniques that I use. Now, one of the biggest mistakes that I notice online, on Facebook, and even with, with students that I teach in person, is people ask open-ended questions. So for example, they'll say something like, when will I fall in love? Or another one is, will I ever fall in love? So when you say, will I ever fall in love? That means you're talking about the next 50 years of your life and it's too open-ended. So the cards might say, in 20 years time, you may fall in love, right? So a better way of saying it is, will I fall in love in the next 12 months? Or pick a time that you want, so it could be six months. And if not, why not? So now what we've done with the cards, we've given the cards a time limit. So will I fall in love in the next six months? Or 12 months, or two weeks, or whatever. Um, we've given the cards a structure to work with, okay? rather than will I ever fall in love, which is an open-ended structure. It doesn't give the cards a, a date. So I'm going to explain with tarot, with uh, Lenormand cards, and also with gypsy cards, how I would do a timing question. So for example, if a client comes and says, when will I buy a car or a house? Let's say a car. When will I buy a car? I would then turn around turn the question around with the client and say, let's ask, will you buy the car in the next 12 months? Or let's say six months. Will you buy a car in the next six months? And if not, what's in your way? Okay, so let's try the tarot first. So will client X buy a car in the next six months? And if not, what's in his way? just going to do five cards just to make it easy okay so I would say with this one I would say it is possible yes to buy a car but it's going to require other people so possibly needing assistance from someone else like it ends on a on the lovers which is two which is a partnership it also starts on the ten of cups which is indicating something about family or other people I would say that there's an issue with family, which is feeling blocked, perhaps uh, feeling like you can't buy the car because of family pressures or family commitments. But it looks like you get moving, you move away from this burden. It's still unknown, and then it requires the assistance of someone else. So I would say to this client, yes, but you do need the assistance of a partner or family to help you make that happen, okay? So let's do another, the same question with another deck of cards. Let's do the um, Lenormand. These are Lenormand, so let's see. And five. So will client X buy a car in the next six months? And if not, what's in his way? So there's a block, starts off with a block. The anchor shows it's gonna take some time. To me, the anchor's slow, slow moving. Child, a new beginning. Sort of like a little bit naive as well, child. There's some entanglements or problems and you are gonna need to be committed to this idea of getting a car. Also, the ring does denote partnerships again. So it may depend on a partnership or a relationship. So it's kind of similar to what the tarot was saying. This is the Japanese Lenormand, by the way, that I designed. 
So it shows a block that's holding you back or a block that's been making you feel stuck. There's a new beginning, but it isn't straightforward, but it's gonna require the assistance of others. I would say yes, if you are committed to getting the car, you need to really put commitment into it and possibly partnership again. Okay, now let's try the same question again with the, with the uh, gypsy tattoo cards. One, two, three, four, and five. So the man, which is our client. Well, the butterfly tends to be a little bit flighty. So client, our male client may be flighty about this idea or not focus, because butterflies tend to flutter. Star, he has hopes and dreams. There's going to be a woman involved, possibly his partner, and it shows there is success with this question. So again, I would say yes, and again, it's pretty much saying the same as what the other two decks have said. Shows man needs partnership from a woman, and there is success in getting the car in the next 12, within 12 months, six months. So I would say yes. Now the, the challenge here is these two are both up in the air. Stars are up in the air, butterflies are up in the air. So I would say to this client, you really need to focus and not daydream, have a plan and a structure to make this happen, but you do have success in the end if you, again, it's gonna require you to really work at it and go for it, but again, I would say yes. Okay, so that's three different decks pretty much saying the same thing. And it shows you how I would then work with the client and put a timing in the question. Okay, so I hope that's been a good example of how to use timing in cards. This is Paris de Bono of The Fortune Teller Shop.